We are also following, though, ways to treat COVID-19. And we invite into the program Dr. Fred Grossman, Mesoblast's chief medical officer, because they've got news that was just announced this week about uh, what is referred to as um, treatment uh, for people who might be suffering the uh, respiratory problems for from COVID-19, but it's compassionate treatment and it involves your drug, Remi, uh, Remi stem cell. What does this all mean? Because it's not yet fully approved by the FDA, right? Yeah, thank you, Adam. And it's, uh, it's good to be here. Uh, Mesoblast is a company, a leading company in cell therapy. We have a full portfolio of products. The product you're referring to, Remi stem cell, is actually undergoing FDA review right now in application in children for a disease called steroid refractory acute graft versus host disease. We expect to hear and we hope to hear an approval in September and we'll launch that, uh, that product at that time. But what is this, uh, what does this, this uh, drug that you have do? Because we're, we're all concerned about these stories about kids young yeah. children who have had real serious respiratory issues. So the same immune response that occurs in graft versus host disease, where we show that this product, in fact, improves survival, also is in play in both children and adults that suffer from COVID-19. Now, with respect to adults, uh, many uh, adults get infected and uh, they get an infection that occurs in their lungs. And in order to fight this, they release cytokines. These are factors that do battle with this virus to try to destroy it. In some patients, they go into what's called a cytokine storm, where these cytokines, cytokines start to attack various organs. And the way the cells work, these cells are administered IV, and they hone in to the areas of inflammation. And those cytokines, which are re re wreaking havoc and destroying lung tissue and destroying kidney and other organs, actually respond to that by releasing anti-inflammatory factors. That tames this inflammatory response, allowing healing. So we actually allowed a major hospital in New York to give this treatment to 12 patients who had moderate to severe COVID ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome. These are the patients on ventilators with a very high mortality rate, higher than 80% in many cases. This treatment was given IV, two infusions in the first week to 12 patients. 75% of them were able to come off the ventilator and be discharged. That was nine out of the 12 patients. That was a strong enough signal to have us move forward in a randomized clinical trial, which is well underway at this point. That will give us a definitive signal as to whether this is truly an effective treatment for these most severe patients and can lead to approval by the FDA. And that trial is underway right now. And please keep us posted when you get that approval, if you get that approval in September. We wanna thank you for joining us um, Dr. Grossman, Fred Grossman, Mesoblast Chief Medical Officer. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.